Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at Motorcycle Live 2022 and it's kind of noisy. Uh, I'm at the AJS stand. So I don't know if you've come across AJS before, they've been around for years, like a lot of years. 100 years maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it's one of these brands that I guess uh, fell wide the wayside and it's now back again. Um, they're, they're back here with some 125 and 250 cc motorcycles, uh, which are kind of like learner bikes here in the UK. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos recently, you know that I've got a bit of a thing now for small bikes, so I think 250 is just quite a nice capacity for a little run around. So I'll show you what they've got here on the stand and you can see what you think. So the first bike I want to show you here from the AJS stand is this one, it's called a Cadwell. And um, it's got this amazing red paint job on it. There's some of the gold lettering and then this quite interesting uh, looking yoke up at the top with some quite bling pro mirrors. Now this bike's just the 125, it's five speed, weighs only 113 kilos. Uh, it does 128 miles to the gallon and it's less than the £3,000 here in the UK. This is £2,899, which I think is an absolute steal. You know, you think that's uh, you know, just over half the price of a monkey bike. It's also 125cc. And I just think that looks, that looks really nice. You know, it's, um, it's been well thought out. A lot of the, the bits on it look quite nice. Um, still got a kickstart, which is always, al always fun. And yeah, I mean, okay, it is a cheap bike. I have no idea what they're like reliability-wise, but you know what? I'm sure I'll, they'll sell a load of them. And actually, if you were you know, just new to riding and you wanted to get out on something with a small capacity, I think you could, do, you could do a lot worse. I mean, the clocks are basic, but you know what? They do the job. Here we have one of their new models. It doesn't actually say what it's called on it, but it's just got this uh, black, black and gold um, paintwork on it. This one is missing the, uh, the kickstart, so I'm wondering if this is just a Euro 5 compliant engine or something. But again, similar sort of style. There's lots of nice little styling cues all over it from those you know fairly discreet indicators which you don't always see um, through to that uh, leather strap that runs up and over the tank uh, again similar sort of controls but this one has black clocks and a more up-to-date dash uh, than the other Cadwell I showed you I think this is my favorite one on the stand so this is a, a street scrambler they have and that's a 250 and again it's just you know really nicely finished uh, some bits look a little bit basic actually when you get up and you look around the back of the clocks and things but you know what i'm sure scramblers back in the day were a lot like this that's got the same clocks that i showed you on the other bike where there what looks like an lcd screen this glorious uh, sort of uh, speckled sparkling red paintwork with the gold it's got the offset fuel cap i guess so that when you're filling it up you can get a bit more in <clears throat> and this one even comes with what appears to be a center stand under there uh, this sort of high high, high level exhaust and yeah, I just think these are, these are really, really tidy. So this one's a 250. I'm guessing that might be a little toolbox they have on the back as well. Hi there, I'm Megan. I'm Head of Marketing here at AJS. And uh, we're here at Motorcycle Live. Uh, we are also joined by the AJS Matches Owners Club. So we have here to, uh, to display on our stand uh, AJS bikes from the past, present and the future. Over here we've got some models from the past. We have a 1928 Model B, um, which has been left unrestored. This is from a member of the AJS Matches Owners Club who has kindly let us display this model. We also have the AJS Stormer. Uh, the Stormer is the UK's most successful British-made scrambles bike uh, ever. And this one was restored by uh, a guy called Wim Kroon in the Netherlands uh, before being purchased by uh, a guy called Terry Pickering here in the UK that has raced in the past. And here's a bike you'll all recognize, the very famous AJS 7R. Um, also known as the, the Boy Racer back in the 50s to early 60s. This was an over-the-counter race bike um, that was very successful, winning many Isle of Man TT races back in the day. This is the AJS Cadwell. This is part of our current range, part of the heritage range. It's a 125cc cafe racer style. It's got the Yamaha YBR 125 engine in it. This model's been around since 2016. It's one of our best sellers. It's extremely popular uh, for people of all ages, from 17 year olds uh, learning to ride. It's a great first bike that looks, looks really good. Um, it's also loved by many um, of the older generation who have the vintage AJS bikes, which are getting a little bit 
a little bit big, a little bit heavy, uh, a little bit difficult to manage, and they just want to ride an AJS that they can push out the garage, uh, start on the button, and, and nip into town. So it's a great uh, all-round bike uh, for all ages, really. The AJS Moderna is actually our best seller. It's a very, very popular retro style scooter. Uh, again, 125, but this one is twist and go. Really easy to ride. Great for nipping around town or joining your local scooter rallies. We have on display here as well a new model. This is the 71 Desert Scrambler that you have seen as the 125. Uh, but this time it is now a 250. This is still a prototype. We still uh, may change a few things on it before we bring it into production, but we're hoping this is gonna launch sort of spring, early summer next year. Uh, we're really excited about this one. Uh, a lot of people have been asking us for a, one, uh, for a 250 uh, for a long time now. And um, yeah, we're really excited to bring this to the range. Uh, we think it's, again, a bit like the 125. It's a great bike for uh, those that just want something to nip around town but still want those uh, famous AGS letters on their tank. Um, you know, for those that are familiar with the brand and, and those who are not, it's a great looking bike. Uh, it's got a lot of history and heritage and yeah, we'll be uh, looking forward to bringing that onto the range next year. The 250 will also be uh, coming into the range as the Tempest Roadster, which again is part of our 125 range. Um, we're really looking forward to bring this one as a 250 as well. It's, so then we'll have in the range a 250 Scrambler and a road, Roadster as well. Um, the Tempest as a 125 has been an incredibly popular model. So we think uh, people are going to love it as a 250 as well. This is a new model as well. This is 125. Uh, this is a new engine for us. Um, this is a six speed water cooled 125 engine. Uh, it's going to have a little bit more power than the, the YBR, which has been used in our current range. It's a sort of, we, we don't have a name for it yet. It's got the, the lowered handlebars like the, the Cadwell, but a slightly rounder shaped tank. Again, a couple of specifications will be open to change, um, but this is going to be the sort of main style of it. And we're really looking forward to bringing this to the market next year. Again, we're hoping for this to launch in sort of spring, early summer. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for that. I know how much you love doing that, so I really appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> All right, thank you. So there we go, that's a quick look around the AJS stand here at Motorcycle Live 2022. Massive thanks to Megan for doing that. Um, I know a lot of these videos are just me wandering around, and especially when it's a brand or models I don't know a lot about. I do have to do a bit of guesswork and reading as I go. So to have her talk about the bikes uh, here on the stand was really helpful. Sorry about the background noise. We're next to the TT Experience Stimul Simulator, which is just belting out some tunes. So hopefully the, the audio is all right on this. Otherwise, I'll be coming back on another day. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, maybe I'll see you next time.